Hi guys, let's get in depth of electrochemistry. And in Daniel cell, as required by all cell, Daniel cell also requires two electrodes. In this case, it is zinc electrode here. This is copper electrode here. The electrolyte which we have over here is zinc. And now since we are talking in terms of standard cell so we have taken one mole of zinc sulfate solution over here that's the electrolyte and here it is one mole of copper sulfate solution over here which is the electrolyte over here connected via voltmeter to measure volt in order to measure volt generated by chemical energy a voltmeter there salt bridge the salt bridge is saturated potassium chloride solution plus agar gel now salt bridge is for maintaining electrical neutrality by ion transfer all right now see uh, what happens here is oxidation now this is the reaction that occurs zinc plus copper sulfate giving you zinc sulfate and copper we have studied this as displacement reaction all right where sulfate goes to zinc displaced from copper and goes to zinc so that's the reaction that we have studied earlier so this is the reaction zinc copper sulfate giving zinc sulfate and copper how are these represented? It's represented like this zinc solid, zinc solid, electrode, then zinc sulfate, zinc sulfate, then this thing, salt bridge, then again Cu2 plus copper sulfate, one molar, and copper electrode. So see how electrons are traveling. Electrons are traveling from here, basically from here to here and go on like this. So it would be electrons would be traveling like this, like this, like this, and like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So the circuit is complete. All right. So this is how it is represented. So as I've mentioned here, this is the electrode, this is salt bridge, this again is electrode. This is these are this is anode, this is cathode, these are copper sulfate, zinc sulfate solutions, salt bridge, all right and <clears throat> transfer of electron like this and then like that so circuit is being complete now let us get into individual studies i also need to say salt bridge does not only maintains electrical neutrality it also helps in completing the circuit we saw just now over here right so it's only because of salt bridge so electron passing over here like that and then it helps in completing the circuit then at the same time, we are finding that earlier times, there were membrane, there were no two compartments. So it used to mix. The two electrolytes would mix with each other to some extent. All right. So salt bridge prevents mixing also. So it prevents mixing. It completes circuit. At the same time, it also maintains electrical neutrality. So solvent. So salt bridge is very much essential for a cell, for Daniel cell. All right. So now let us get into individual half cell reactions right half reaction half reaction half reaction for oxidation half reaction for reduction now obviously zinc to zinc ion is oxidation because stripping of electrons so that's what happens in anode anode zinc solid two electrons are being stripped to convert it into zn2 plus ion so oxidation half cell reaction now let's see about this compartment in this compartment what happens is it is copper waiting for two electrons zinc zinc metal gave two electrons and formed zn2 plus ion two electrons went in from here and then came in over here and here cu2 plus ions are waiting to receive those two electrons so it receives those two electrons so that is gain of electrons so gain of electron we know is reduction the so reduction occurring here and on reduction what happens is it gets the ion gets converted to solid metal so it gets deposited over here so that's what we are finding over here Cu2 plus two electron copper solid so this is half cell reaction for reduction all right so basically what we would find is we would find that the zinc electrode would keep on reducing in size whereas copper electrode would keep on increasing in size okay now let's sum up both the reactions on summing up we cancel electron this gets cancelled this gets cancelled so what we are left is with zinc and cu2 plus again zn2 plus and cu solid so it is zinc solid copper solid zinc solid keeps on reducing and copper solid keeps on increasing over here 
All right. And 1M, 1M I have given because it is one molar concentration. As I told that we are talking in terms of standard potential. All right. A standard potential means the concentration has to be one molar. Atmospheric pressure has to be one atmosphere and temperature has to be 25 degree Celsius, which we would see later on. So those are the conditions under which we have performed this cell reaction. All right. Okay, now let's proceed in terms of calculation. So how do we calculate? We calculate E standard cell is equal to obviously E standard of anode plus standard potential of cathode. So that itself means in anode what happens is oxidation. So standard potential for oxidation plus what happens in cathode reduction. So standard potential of reduction. Now, uh, these are all the conditions required for standard cell all right okay now these values where do we get all these values from of emf standard potential we get it all from electrochemical series it's a standard table but all the values that are there in those ecs are all reduction potentials so now here we know it is oxidation now one thing you have to be very clear with that the EMF required for a particular now for example if I take this now now here here what is happening here it is reduction right so reduction so in the case of reduction suppose a particular EMF is required for copper reduction say 0 0.337 0 0.337 volt is required for reduction of copper so for the reverse reaction also it would be 0 0.337 now for example if reduction potential is plus 0 0.337 then the oxidation potential oxidation potential that is cu giving out two electrons and forming ion for oxidation potential it would be negative 0 0.337 now again i repeat if for reduction for this reaction if it is plus 0 0.337 then for oxidation of copper it also would be 0 0.337 volts only but negative so if this is positive this is negative but the magnitude is the same so that you have got to keep in mind so in case of anode in case of anode we have oxidation potential and if ecs has all reduction potential then we can just change the sign of reduction potential and use it as oxidation potential i hope it is clear all right now let's understand how do we do it so in order to convert standard oxidation potential to standard reduction potential sign has to be changed that's what i explained right now so e reduction now for zinc the table ECS table gives us a reduction potential as minus 0 0.763. But we need oxidation potential. So reduction potential is Zn2 plus plus 2 electron gain of electron. So it is reduction potential which is given in ECS table. What we need is oxidation potential. And oxidation potential is Zn giving you Zn2 plus ion so loss of electron that is oxidation so the same value put in here and sign changed so it becomes plus 0 0.763 no problem at all all right no issue let's get into the situation daniel cell emf now so e0 cell we already saw its standard oxidation potential plus standard reduction potential Oxidation potential is Zn, Zn2 plus reduction potential is Cu2 plus Cu. All right. So what do we do? Now we put in reduction potential, but we subtract it. So it becomes oxidation potential. All right. And this is the same. Whatever value we have there in the table, we can directly substitute it over here. Alright, so what we do is we substitute that. So this is the value that we got, which I had already explained to you here. So now this becomes plus 0 0.763 plus 0 0.337 gives you plus 1.11. 1 
this is spontaneous what do i mean by spontaneous by spontaneous i mean that the cell is feasible now suppose suppose if this value would have been plus on substrate this would have become minus so minus is greater than positive the value that we would have got would have been in negative now if any time we get the value as negative that itself means that the cell is not spontaneous it's a non-spontaneous cell that means the cell won't work and that also means that we have got to interchange the electrode the anode has to be converted to cathode and cathode to anode whereas in this case we are finding the value is positive so that's spontaneous whatever we have done is right and the cell is working all right